It is great to be here with you all today. And I'm so excited to have my family with me today, my daughters, my two little grandsons are here. And you know, you can't do this without your faith and your family and your friends. So thank you so very much. It is such an honor. I was thinking, this is my ninth year to speak at the fair. And it just means so much to be here with friends, people that you see that you might not have seen in months or even since last year. And our whole state is driven on relationships and trust and our Christian values. So it's just so evident right here. I'm excited because I'm now going to visit you about wanting to be your Attorney General. It has truly been an honor serving as your state treasurer for the last eight years. And no question about it, we, we have been able to accomplish so many things. You know, silos don't work. But when we work with one another as unified fronts, we make things happen. Just to give you a few examples, we've all worked together. I've managed our state debt and saved all of us as taxpayers $150 million. That's real dollars. Unclaimed property would have been an easy program to side by. But we all work together. We have coalitions. We've got new municipalities. We've got to work with the legislators. And guess what? We have now given back to the rightful owners $100 million in eight years. $100 million. That's an economic driver. And you know, I've stood on this stage for a number of years now. I said, this is my ninth year to stand on this stage. And I've talked about financial education with everyone. We've talked about it's a critical life skill. It's important for us to teach our young students because they're the workforce. They're the future. Who's going to be us? And they miss the critical life skill of financial education. But because we work together, that now four years later, team initiative called Treasurer's Education About Money. 95,000 students have had critical life skill of learning financial education. 1,400 teachers trained. 92% benchmark of financial education. But here's the important thing. What was our end goal? Our end goal was how could we get every student to have financial education. And in our partnership, guess what? When our students go to school next week, we're going to be 18th in the nation. Hear me, 18th in the nation to require financial education, not 50th. And we did that together. So, I am ready to be your Attorney General. Thank you for honoring me, have trusting me, letting me work side by side, all that I've done the last eight years. But I'm ready to serve as your Attorney General. Bring my conservative, my Christian values into this office, pro-business. So in the Attorney General's office, you can count on me. Because I have been a practicing lawyer for 34 years. 34 years I've been practicing law. And I started my legal career as a special assistant attorney general. I've worn that badge. I have prosecuted. I have litigated. I have written opinions. I've been very engaged in that office. And here's what I've also done. I'm working on, we always worked on so many different areas. But I tried the first videotape trial at Parchment. Parchment. Those criminals were too dangerous to bring out. And we tried that case, and those criminals are still there. And you know, the Attorney General is the managing partner of the state's largest law firm. It's a very complex agency, and it requires somebody who has that in-depth knowledge. And so I have that. In 34 years, I've been very fortunate. I run complex agencies. I have been house counsel to the, to the legislature. And I have been in private practice, so I bring a great intersection of law, policy, finance, and administration. When you hire me, you hire me to go to work day one for you as your attorney general. No learning curve. And there are a lot of things we have to do together as the attorney general. It takes all of us. But let me tell you, as your attorney general, you can trust me. You can know that I'm going to withhold all, I'm going to hold up all integrity. I'm going to be there strong, supporting you day in and day out. But as your attorney general, I will definitely be very strong and very tough on crime. I will definitely always support our law enforcement and our first responders. Again, those folks, when you see them, you thank them because they're putting their lives on the line every day for us. Thank you to our law enforcement. I will protect all Mississippians, all Mississippians, particularly our most vulnerable, our children, our elderly, and certainly our military. And I received, and I'm so humbled, the right to life endorsement. So you can believe that I'll be protecting our unborn. And I will protect and be there to support our, our crime victims and their families. They deserve that. And truly, there are some other big topics. Let's talk about the opioid crisis. 
It's an epidemic. It's in our country, it's in our state, and it's in our communities. Together, we rally and make a difference to end that. It affects everyone. It affects everyone within all of our communities. We all have had loved ones that have been affected. But you know how we, we make a difference? We make a positive change when we work together to end that. And then right along with that comes human trafficking. Hard to believe that we have that. But again, we can end that when we work with one another. We can truly end that. But in the meantime, we have to provide resources. We have to help those, those individuals. They need to come back into society with no shame or no blame. They deserve to come back in and we need to be there for them. You know, one of the things I'm very passionate about, I'm a, I'm a gun owner, I'm an NRA lifetime member, and I believe in uploading the Second Amendment rights to the state of Mississippi. You can bet I will always do that. And I'm always going to protect our rights, our laws, especially when outside sources want to come in and tell us that they want to substitute their judgment for ours. You can believe that that will not happen on my watch. It's going to be very important as we move forward to work with one another and protect all of our values. Now, back when the president started running, I'm an original Trump supporter. I stood up for President Trump. I'm one of the first statewide elected officials that was there supporting President Trump. He selected me to be the chair of his Women for Trump in the state of Mississippi. I have a relationship with our president. And you can count on me to work with our president to stand strong, to fight illegal immigration, build that wall, and also to stop the assault on our Christian values. Will not happen on my watch. And as, as I've told you many times before, we have a great state. I'm always going to run a positive campaign. No matter what any opponent does, I'm going to talk about the positive future that we have together. Again, we've got great things happening, and I will be a great leader for you if you allow me to serve you in this capacity, because I want to continue to work hard, honestly, continue to earn your trust, because I will always be the, the leader you can count on, because I've got a track record for 34 years. You can trust me, and you know that I'm going to provide deliverables and be there lockstep supporting you and as your chief legal officer and your chief law enforcement officer. So thank you so very much. And I would, I'm asking for your vote on August the 6th. But most importantly, I'm asking for your prayers for my family and me as we go through the next few days. Thank you so very much for all you do, and may God bless each of you. Thank you.